I finally found the CoverGirl product that I can't recommend. I'm sad to report. Kim Townsville here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video if appropriate, leave a comment below if you have good things or bad things to say about this product or any other CoverGirl product. I'm a big CoverGirl fan. I use the foundation. I use their, their matte powder. I use a lot of CoverGirl stuff. I have video reviews up telling people how much I love CoverGirl stuff. And I've always used the Maybelline eyebrow pencils, but I thought I need to go for a lighter color, so I thought, okay, I'm going to go to CoverGirl and try it, but this product is horrible. Let me show you one. So I purchased these Easy Breezy Brow Pencils from CoverGirl, and I am a big CoverGirl makeup fan. If I have to spend over $10 on cosmetics, I'm thinking it's glamour puss time, so I'm all about the drugstore cosmetics. I was very happy with most of the CoverGirl are actually all the CoverGirl products that I've ever bought, but I'd never tried their brow pencils. I needed to go to a lighter color because the one I was using was darker, so I got these because I thought, okay, this would be a good blend in. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Fill and Define Pencil, and I just sharpened it a little bit, and let me see if I can demonstrate the difficulty of using this pen. You can see that pieces of it are just kind of flaking off, it's not really leaving a good color. And I'm, I'm mashing pretty hard on my hand. And <laughs> I do not want to have to mash that hard on my eyebrow. So I just, I'm a, I'm a CoverGirl fan, but this is a terrible product. I don't, I don't want that falling into my eyes. The CoverGirl that was really hard is on the top and the Maybelline's on the bottom. I'm going to see if the CoverGirl... Oh, goodness. See how hard it is? I just did not want that pulling on my eye. And it's not leaving color. Look at that. I'm a big CoverGirl fan, but this is just a no-go. can see the difference. But it was really hard. Let's see if I can run on this. Like it goes on the paper really smoothly, but as far as putting it on my skin, it was tugging on my skin. It was like pulling, you can see what it's doing on my thumb. It was just really painful on my eyes and no, I'm not inviting pain on my eyes in the morning. So I, I tried it, thought maybe it would get softer. You know, maybe it was just hard on the end. And I actually used that much of it. I think I gave it a fair shot, but no, it just wasn't the thing for me. And even though it only cost $3.95, hmm, I could almost buy a blizzard for that. Large blizzard. So I called CoverGirl, spoke to Natalie. She said she was sorry. She was super, super nice. She said she'd send me a coupon. That would be good on a future purchase in 7 to 10 days. And they may send me a prepaid mailer to send the product back. I told her, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. I come home on April the 9th, which is exactly a week later. Yay! God, that's pretty personalized because she's even talking about the exact product that I mentioned. Natalie, you're awesome. Thank you CoverGirl or Cody for making it right, and I will be using my $10 coupon, but I won't be spending it on your eyebrow pencils. I'll get some foundation, eyeliner, powder, something that I know that works. Thanks. Thanks for caring about your customers. Can you believe this? I put this in the study and forgot about it and let it expire. Oh. I can't believe I did that. Obviously, I love CoverGirl products. I use several different ones. Thanks for watching my video, and I'm really, really sad to have to report that I found a CoverGirl product that mm, didn't work for me. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, share the video if appropriate, leave a comment below, and in the meantime, let's help each other out when we find good products for things that need improvement. Bye.